All right, Shalom Akim, all praises goes to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash. The bonus goes into the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught us this truth. And much love and peace and blessings goes out to all the hopeful elect brothers that are teaching the word of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And just like that, just like that, you had judgment go down in the midst of these people kicking it, man. Because just out here in Florida, I don't know sure exactly what city this was in, but in Florida, this was just last night. It happened on the uh, basically early Sunday morning, late late Saturday night. A, a gunman had opened fire right around the club in Miami. It killed two motherfuckers and, and injured 22 people, man. 22 people got shot in the midst of all that gunfire going on. Two people died. You know, and this just shows you the, how the judgment of the Lord is being um, is being poured out. You know, and, and you look at it all in all, it's an indication of what's to come. Because, like I mentioned before, in the midst of these people kicking it, because people, you people out there, you think it's all good, all sweet and dandy. But what you don't understand is that you're, you're, you are heading for deep waters. <laughs> the, the type of judgment the Lord is about to have go down on this planet is deep waters to the people. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is not playing. You do not know the type of shark infested waters you, you're about to enter into. Um, uh, what, what's the word? Uh, metaphorically. Because as you might think, it's all good. You got the Maxine being pushed and certain uh, states are reopening. Actually, a majority of states are, are, are reopening. They, 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 they um, took away the mask mandate. So people thinking it's all gravy. They wasn't rubbing their hands like Birdman, so to speak. But really, that's the Most High. Most High send you people up to get put to death, and this is just an indication of more of what's to come. So it's funny though. I find it quite funny that this happened just last night, where you had a bunch of niggas just just partying and 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 turning up, you know, partying and turning up, and you thinking that it's all good in America. And the Lord just judge your ass, man. It says, at least 22 people shot too fatally after assailants get out of an SUV and fire assault and fire assault rifles at a club, police say. Police are asking for public's help in finding whoever opened fire at Florida Club early Sunday, killing at least two people and wounding at least 20 more. Miami-Dade Police Department. Director Alfredo said, shortly after midnight, a white Nissan Pathfinder pulled up to the El Mula Banquet Hall near Hialeah and three people stepped out of the vehicle with assault rifles and handguns and started firing indiscriminately into the crowd. The result is 20 to 25 victims with gunshot injury wounds and two deceased at the scene. So, a hey, most high is not playing, man. Those spirits created for vengeance is being put on these pe on people in these last days to do acts like this. So it is what's strange about this event is you didn't hear no altercation or anything. Motherfuckers just rolled up on these people and started opening fire. And that's the destruction of the proud. Cause I want to get that how this relates to everything. Cause the people in America, you people in America are completely wicked. You disregard the ways of the most high. And the most high is just judging your ass. If this was a righteous and uh, godly, uh, you know, safe society, would this type of stuff be going on? Yahweh Hashem Shai actually promised the Israelites peace as long as we were conduct to conduct ourselves in His ways. But you see, the, ant, the, the the opposite of that happened in America, and therefore the opposite of peace is happening, which is death, destruction. This is 1 Timothy chapter 5, or so like your 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, and verse 3, it says, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. You see? So, what, 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 in other words, what's... what's What's terms for peace? Being able to do your regular duties, to be able to make money freely as you want, to be able to 
uh, do the things which you desire without deterrence. That's peace to most people, right? In a, in a happy and calm state emotionally, right? Being safe, not no fear of danger. But as they're saying this, as they believe this, right? These people are getting fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Sudden destruction comes upon you in this mindset. And the Lord is setting this up. He's setting it up for this to happen. So this is uh, Psalm chapter 12 and verse, and verse, um, hold on, let me, let me look up this other precept as well. I'm going to hold this. Psalm chapter 12 and verse 8, it says, The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. So what does this mean? It means basically because of the exaltation of the so-called right waste, which we know them to be Edomites, they are a vile and disgusting people. And because of these vile men sit on the seat of um, rulership, they got wick everybody else wicked. Because when everybody else who walks around you, be it your next door neighbor, be it people you see at the at the grocery store or wherever, they're wicked as hell too. You see what I'm saying? But 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 look, because of the actions of the people, the Most High has to enter into judgment with them. Because the Most High is a judge. He's a power that doesn't allow things to happen uh, to a certain extent when things get out of control. The Most High acts and he maneuvers. You see. He gives place for repentance, for people to change. But as we can see with America, hey, nobody cares about righteousness. They just care about doing wickedness, fulfilling their lusts. So that's why the Lord is going to destroy them. So this is Job chapter 40 and verse 11. It says, cast abroad the rage of thy wrath. And this is Job praying to the Most High for him to cast his wrath, right? It says, behold, everyone that is proud and abase him, right? And that's that's pretty much the mindset that is taking hold on the majority of the people on earth right now is pride, that self-promotion spirit, thinking that, thinking that you are uh, the shit, basically. <clears throat> the word for proud is... Uh, ga and it means to be lofty, figuratively arrogant. And tell me that's not a majority of people. You got three hundred pound women, four hundred pound women that's proud, asking for multi million dollar net worth men. Tell me that's not proud, or the so called white man himself. You know he's super proud. He's proud over the Israelites, and the fact that he oppresses us. Makes us seem like we're nothing. Teaches us false history. That's pride. You have a common saying in America, which they say they're proud to be American. All of these things. But it's what the scriptures say is to abase them, meaning bring them low. It says, look on everyone that is proud and bring him low and tread down the wicked in their place. And, and just, hey, I could, you can guarantee that those two people that got put to death and the other 20 people that, that got shot at that club, they was proud. You know, a lot of them niggas, if they were Jakes, they didn't want to listen to the truth. They look at us being the men of the Lord preaching to all of these bums. All we got to listen to them. And the Lord does things like this to you. Bring your ass low. Get you shot up. It says, hide them in the dust together and bind their faces in secret. You see, meaning put you in confusion, be in a confused state, hearing hearing gun rounds go off and shit. Of course, it manifests in a multitude of different ways. But this particular incident, that's how this manifested. That's how the Lord abased those people, you know. So let's go to this precept I found. This is Sirach chapter 35 and verse 18. It says, for the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, would not be slack. Neither will the mighty be patient toward them to have smitten and sunder the loins of the unmerciful and repay vengeance to the heathen till he have taken away the multitude of the proud and broken the scepter of the unrighteous till he have rendered to every man according to his deeds 
and to the works of men according to their devices. Do we have judged the cause of his people and made them to rejoice in his mercy? So this tells you that the Lord would not slack because he's intent on what? Smiting the loins of the unmerciful, meaning destroying these Edomites. They've been unmerciful to us as a people. Put us on cargo slave shit, work for uh, 400 plus years. Where's the mercy in that? Repaid vengeance to the heathen. The heathen are going to pay. But the, but the point is, he have taken away the multitude of the proud. And multitudes and multitudes, billions of people on earth are proud right now. Worshipping their false idols. Worshipping themselves comfortable in lies and man-made devices. All the meanwhile, no reverence or honor towards the godly things of the scriptures. Tell me that's not the mindset of being proud. But the Lord said he will not slack until he takes away these these motherfuckers out the earth, man. You see what I mean? Because that's that's he's intent on that. He's, he's looking to get the job done as far as clearing out the way of all that offend. Right. Like the scriptures tell you that the son of man, he's going to remove all that offend out of the earth because the earth is his kingdom. You see. So I'm going to get one last scripture. This is uh, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50 uh, and 29. Call together the archers against Babylon. And we know Babylon is America because Babylon goes back to uh, the Hebrew Babal, which means confusion. America is the modern land of confusion to, you know, in, as opposed to the ancient Babylon, which is an ancient empire. This is modern Babylon. All ye that bend the bow, camp against it round about. Let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her work, according to all she hath done. Do unto her, for she hath been proud against the Lord Yahweh, against the Holy One of Israel. So there's been proud deeds from the from the Edomites, man, going on now. Like you got the space force, you got Edomites now talking about how the chariots are demonic forces. That's being proud against the Most High. On down to how they push. Look, because the reason why everyone else is proud, like I mentioned before, is because Esau is proud and he's pushing that spirit to everyone else. He's infecting the world with his pride. To hell with a goddamn a C-19 virus. He, everybody's infected with pride. People are infected with Momoism, if you can understand. So the Lord, that's why the Lord, he's going to destroy the pinnacle and the seat of that wickedness on the earth with it, which is America. And that's going to be the end all be all. So all praises goes to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kadash, the ones to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.